In this first section I'm going to set up the EPA net model and set the defaults and the project name. First of all I'm going to do the dimensions. This is a one that can easily be forgotten. I'm going to set the map units to feet. And then under project I'm going to name give the project a title. Santa Isabel Water Mains Extension. And this will show up as you see here with this checkbox on any reports we print, it'll show up automatically as the uh, header on the printed report. I'm also going to go ahead and set some of the project defaults here. Uh, ID labels, you can choose to put prefixes in front of uh, certain objects. So you may, you may want to put T in front of all tanks or P in front of every pipe that's your decision. I, I don't tend to do that. Uh, this set of properties is for default values for certain system components. We have node elevation, tank diameter, tank height, pipe length, auto length, pipe diameter and pipe roughness. Um, I'm just going to change the pipe diameter from 12 to 6 inches and I'm going to change the pipe roughness which is the Hayes and Williams roughness coefficient to 130 which is a typical design number. Uh, these can all be changed these are just the default values so for example if I put in a pipe uh, with the auto length um, option off it will assign that pipe a length of 1000 feet I can go in there later manually and change the length of that pipe to whatever I'd like, but the default will be 1000. Uh, if you have auto length on, again I keep moving my cursor down here because the option is down here in the lower left of the screen, you will, your pipe will be actually the length that you set it to the map units, and we'll get into that in a little bit, putting in a background map. Uh, the hydraulics. Uh, I'm going to use for my flow units determine just about all the rest of my uh, dimension, my dimensions and uh, units in the program. Uh, I usually use gallons per minute. Uh, I think we're mo most of us are most familiar with gallons per minute. You do have cubic feet per second, million gallons per day, and others along here. Uh, but uh, gallons per minute seems to be a a, a good choice there. Uh, head loss formula, you have a choice of three, HW for Hayes and Williams, and that's the one I'm using for this model. Darcy Weisbach and Chasing Manning are the other two. If you do change to either the Darcy Weisbach or the Chasing Manning, or change in between any of these, do go back and check in your properties that your pipe roughness value is a suitable value because they, they do change and it can be quite a significant change between those three formulas and you should look that up in the literature. There may be also some references in the uh, user's manual for EPA net. Uh, the rest of these values I'm going to leave as they are. You can read about them in the user manual. Uh, this is just a pretty typical setup that I, I use here. And that completes, well actually I need to save the file as well. That's one last step to do there, don't forget to save. I'm just going to make sure I'm in the correct folder here, which I am. And I'm going to save it as Santa Isabel Water Main Extension 1. And now I'm ready to start uh, bringing in my background map and, and making the model.